Hi everyone, I'm Rohit, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Sydney. Today I'll show you how to troubleshoot connectivity issues in your Amazon Elastic Cache self-designed Redis cluster. Let's cover some of the reasons for connectivity issues in the Elastic Cache self-designed Redis cluster. The cluster isn't ready. The cluster is unhealthy. The network configuration is incorrect. The client configuration is incorrect. Let's troubleshoot each one of these causes. If the cluster is newly created, follow these steps to verify that the cluster creation is complete and the cluster is ready to accept connections. Log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Elastic Cache Console. Choose Redis Caches from the left menu and then check the status of your Elastic Cache cluster. If the status column shows available, then the cluster is ready. If the status column showing creating, then the cluster creation is still ongoing. Wait a few minutes until it updates to available. If the status column shows modifying, then the cluster's configuration is updating. Wait a few minutes until the modifications are complete and the status changes to available. You can review the cluster status using the AWS command line interface or the Elastic Cache API. You can find these related links in the reference material. Check the status of each node in your cluster. Choose your Elastic Cache cluster and then scroll down to see the status of all the nodes. Amazon Elastic Cache also provides an event log that you can check to see the events in the cluster. Choose metrics to review the CloudWatch metrics for an overview of the cluster's health. To verify network level connectivity between the cluster and the client resources. First, verify that the DNS resolution works from the client side. In my test, I am using an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance as my client resource. To verify that the DNS resolution works on the client side, run the nslookup command on the cluster endpoint. If I run my test on a dummy cluster endpoint, I see no domain error. Hence, make sure you are using the correct cluster endpoint. Now I will run the same test again on the correct cluster endpoint. The correct cluster endpoint is resolving to an IP address without any error. Verify the TCP connectivity between the client and the Elastic Cache Redis cluster. You can use the telnet command to establish a TCP connection and verify the connectivity. I will run a telnet test from my EC2 instance. The connected keyword shows that the TCP connection works. If the connected keyword doesn't appear in the command results, check whether the security group attached to the cluster allows TCP connection on the cluster's port 6379. Select the cluster and then go to the network and security. Scroll down and choose the security group ID under security groups. And then verify that it allows TCP connection on port 6379. Similarly, verify the security group's outgoing connection to the cluster's IP and port from the client resource where you are trying to connect, such as from EC2 instance. Note that routing table must have the appropriate rules so that the cluster is reachable. The resource can be in the same Amazon Virtual Private Cloud VPC. If the resource is in another VPC or outside AWS, make sure that it has appropriate connection configured. This might be VPC peering, a transit VPC, a transit gateway, a VPN, AWS Direct Connect, and so on. The VPC Reachability Analyzer is a tool to help determine what is blocking access if the client resource is in the same VPC as the cluster? Troubleshoot connecting to the cluster with in-transit encryption. If you have Redis CLI installed and it has TLS support, then add the hyphen hyphen TLS argument to the command. I'm using the Redis 6 package in Amazon Linux 2023. It installs Redis 6 CLI with default encryption support. However, 
if you are using Redis CLI, it's important to have build support for TLS when installing Redis CLI. Let's run some tests from Amazon Linux 2, which has Redis CLI compiled without TLS support. To resolve this error, make sure that you compile Redis CLI with TLS support or use an alternate command such as OpenSSL. Now let's test the connectivity to a cluster that has Redis auth turned on. All clusters with authentication requires TLS. The Redis CLI command requires both the hyphen hyphen TLS and hyphen hyphen as pass argument. The command returns an error authentication required if the hyphen hyphen as pass argument is not passed. If I enter an incorrect password, I see an error auth failed, wrong pass invalid username hyphen password pair or user is disabled. Finally, when I enter the correct command and pass the correct password, I don't get an error message. And now you know how to troubleshoot connectivity issues in your Amazon Elastic Cache self-designed Redis cluster. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.